Hi, I'm Chris Lewins from Vanderbilt University. The purpose of this video is to review the directions for completing component four of module one, Web Resources. For this component of the module, you're going to be reviewing resources provided by the National Center on Intensive Intervention, or NCII. Their website is www.intensiveintervention.org. In many ways, NCII is our sister partner. They are a another OSEP funded center. They are a technical assistance center, so their goal is to increase expertise in delivering intensive intervention, and they're doing that, one, by providing intense technical assistance to schools in four states, and then they're also developing a wide range of products, and you're going to review some of those products for this component of Module 1. So NCII's approach to intensive intervention is called Data-Based Individualization, or DBI. You are going to learn more about DBI in Module 2. So for this part of the project, don't feel like you have to completely understand um, all, the, all of the intricacies of DBI. You'll be getting more information on that in Module 2. But as a reminder, DBI is one of various approaches to intensifying intervention. And over the course of this year one curriculum, you're going to be exposed to DBI and various other approaches at intensifying instruction. For this component of the module, the first thing that we would like you to do is review a series of seven Ask the Expert videos. These are brief videos that provide the opinion of experts in the field on several questions that are related to content that you've covered in the readings that you've done for Module 1. For each of these videos, what I want you to do is to consider several things. First of all, consider how the expert's answer to the question is similar to or dissimilar from readings that you've done up to this point. So think how some of the, these experts may have slightly different opinions than those that have been shared up to this point in time. Next, I want you to consider what your answer to the question would be. So you've completed several readings up to this point in time, you should have at least beginning answers to some of these questions. And so I want you to think what your answer would have been if you were um, being recorded on a video and had to answer the question and consider how that may be the same or different from what was provided by the expert. Last, I want you to note any questions that you have that you might want to share with your fellow scholars during the synchronous activity A, where you're going to do a video debrief with a set of scholars, and questions that you may want to raise on activity C, which is going to be a webinar that we're all going to come together and discuss. So anything that, again, ahas that you have, really important resources that you thought some of the experts shared, or questions that still linger after you've watched these videos. After watching the expert videos, we would like you to spend some time exploring the rest of the NCII website. There are a variety of resources that are available, and during this activity you should really be thinking, what resources could I use to want further my knowledge or understanding of intensive intervention? But you may also consider how some of these resources could be used either in professional development that you may provide to teachers in schools. These are resources that could potentially be integrated into a course that you may teach in the future, and they also may be resources that you can incorporate into future research studies that you're doing. So keep that in mind as you're looking at the different resources. During your web review, what I would like you to do is identify at least one or two resources from the site that you will share and discuss on your video conference with your colleagues. Specific things to look for on the site. One, I would encourage you to sign up for NCII's newsletter on the home page. It's very clear on the right hand side when you get to that first page. I would encourage you to sign up for that. And then you're going to more specifically review the content of the webinars, the Ask the Expert videos to get a sense of um, the breadth of coverage that's included. And then you're going to spend some time looking at the tool chart, tools charts and the implementation supports. And additional directions on exactly which components of the site to go through are provided on the PowerPoint slides for this module. And that is it. Enjoy. Okay.